Right, we're going to make the world's quickest and easiest rechargeable battery at home in about three minutes. What we're going to need is a lead sinker from your fishing tackle box, a bit of copper, or you can use a lump of brass, uh, whatever, glass cup, a bit of paper, and a couple of bits of wire, a green and a red. A multimeter, a power supply to charge our battery, a bit of solder, soldering iron, a pair of wire strippers. So the first thing we're going to do is take our green wire, strip a fair bit off one end, give it a good twitch up there, fold it over like so, we'll then strip the other end, probably about 10 mil. Okay, so now we're going to get our sinker put the wire up the sinker like so if it wants to go if it doesn't twist it in there nice and tight okay Okay, not really happy with that. I kind of wanted the uh, insulation inside the hole, so um, it's a bit of fooling around to get it right. Cut that wire shorter, make it a single layer, and get the insulation in the hole there so there's none of the copper wire exposed. Then we're going to uh, take it over to our anvil and beat the crap out of it with a hammer and uh, flatten that sinker out a bit. So we're going to do that. Okay, so our sinker is now nice and flat. About the size of an Australian 20 cent piece now. Uh, now for the copper, we're going to get our snips we're going to cut a very fine strip there. If you've got a big soldering iron you can cut a thicker strip. I only have my small one out at the moment. We'll fold that up. Get our third hand here, here and um, take our red wire. Strip some of that off like so on both ends. Give them a twitch. So we're then now going to tin both of those ends with our soldering iron, should I say one end of the wire, like so, and the other end of the copper, like so. That little strip we cut off the plate, solder this wire onto the copper plate. Like that, and um, we can bend that up so as the wire comes up like that. So we now take our bit of paper and uh, wrap it around our sinker like so. We then take our copper strip here, hold onto the sinker, bend it around the sinker like so. We can now put those two in our glass. Okay, we have a little lighting circuit here. It's just out of a garden light. Now your copper plate is going to be your positive, that's why we put the red wire on it. Your green wire, which is into your sinker, is the negative. So we take our two clip leads here, and we're going to get rid of that and that. We'll hook the uh, green side to the negative of this little circuit. This yellow clip is here. Hook to the positive side, like so. It's a little light. Now we add the secret ingredient, which is white vinegar. And we simply pour it in there until it covers the copper plate. Now you can see nothing's happening here. We have no light. If we put our voltage meter, 
across our battery we just made like so you will see we only have 0.45 volts so we're now going to take the green wire plug it into our power supply it's coming from our battery the positive side of our homemade battery goes into the positive side power supply is set at 5 volts and we're going to give that oh, 30 seconds to charge lots of bubbles coming out of here. Um, it's actually acting a bit like a uh, hydrogen cell at the moment. Don't breathe this stuff in. Probably not healthy for you, even though it's vinegar. It will still be nasty. So do it in a well ventilated area. That should be time enough. We'll now stick this on the positive side of our little light circuit. This one on the negative side. And sure if you can see that, we'll move you a bit closer, like yay, and we'll bend that little light over a little bit so it's facing the camera, and you can see it's a fairly bright light, and I'll just bring the uh, meter a bit closer in so that's in the shot as well. You can see the voltage, even though it was a quick 30 second or 30 odd second charge, the voltage in that battery is holding up quite well driving that LED and driver circuit. That little circuit will drive that LED, will light up that LED, um, right down to 0.69 volts. So as you can see, the voltage is dropping extremely slowly across the battery and that will keep that light lit for about an hour. So that's how easy it is to make a rechargeable battery. scrap laying around and uh, good old white vinegar which is slightly blue due to the fact that I've um, reclaimed it from some other copper cells but nonetheless that's what it is Now we're going to uh, short our battery out, like so. And see how much it bounces back. So after a dead short, quite some time you can still see it's quite happy to run that LED and as you can see it still has a fair bit of capacity left in it even after that dead short Even once it is flat, um, after the initial charge you only need to leave it on for 10 odd seconds, making sure not to uh, get the uh, polarities incorrect when you're charging the cell back up. That's about 10 seconds. Get back on our lighting unit. And I can go make a coffee, come back, and uh, half an hour later that light will still be running quite fine.
So that is about the simplest battery, rechargeable battery, fully rechargeable battery that you can make at home um, without any dangerous chemicals other than like I said um, you are playing with lead but you do that when you go fishing um, and white vinegar is not dangerous in its liquid form but I wouldn't imagine that the gas coming off of that battery when you're charging it is um, it's probably not deadly but probably not healthy either so uh, wouldn't recommend breathing too much of it in as you can see that LED is nice and bright so there you go very quick and easy rechargeable battery um, using items you would have around the house I'm sure everyone would have a bit of copper pipe or something they could use and a fishing sinker or um, a bit of brass you can use steel but um, makes the water go a bit brown and yucky after a couple of charges so uh, I would recommend copper or chunk of brass um, and it works very well okay so uh, thanks for watching my rechargeable battery video hope it can be of use to some of you out there. Cheers guys and we'll see you next one.